last 90 seconds, and then on Saturday, uh, again, they scored in the fourth quarter on that uh, trick play wide receiver pass. How frustrating is that for you guys as a defense not to get a shutout? I mean, I won't say as much frustrating, but I mean, it would mean a lot for us to get a shutout. Uh, that's something we strive to do, um, keeping the offense out the end zone. It'll mean a lot to us, uh, just staying focused and finishing finishing teams. Uh, and just playing a complete game on defense. So it would have meant a lot for us to keep them out the end zone. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I just tweaked my uh, ankle just a little bit. Uh, not too bad. Um, so Coach Sweeney just told me to hold out uh, just to get things, make sure it don't get worse. Should be good to go though. Right? Yeah. I mean, you have to be really disciplined. Uh, just sticking to the game plan, and just not, just not uh, going outside of uh, the game plan. Just being focused and locked in, because you never know what can happen, what a team has put in that week, uh, to like, to get you out your comfort zone. So you just got to stay focused and stay level. Is it odd, Kayvon, having that many option teams to prepare for this early in the season? It's almost like being back in high school sometimes, and and with all the running base running attacks. Is it odd the big time college football to have to have to handle all that? I wanna say it's odd because Coach Venable does a great job getting us prepared. Uh, I mean, the way he prepares get us prepared is like we just all almost ready for everything that could come our way with an option team. And us playing oh, those teams back to back, it just prepared us for the next team that week that we had that is that is an option team. So I would say Coach Vija, he just have us ready all the time. You said after the A and M game that you, you know you, you like quarterback to throw. You want to be thrown out. You don't want to just sit back there and run, run, run. Is this kind of a tough early part of the season for you, maybe personally, because of all the all the option offenses you guys are seeing so far? I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of been tough, but I, I'm staying focused and locked in, uh, not growing weary of the process. Uh, I mean, we getting deep in the season, uh, like the second quarter, like Coach Sweeney said. So I mean, a lot's going to get thrown at us uh, at this point in the season. So it'll be different for me and the team as well uh, from not playing option team and transitioning into a more spread offensive team. In run support, you just kind of reading the, the tackles uh, on the line, just see if they're going to give you run or pass. And basically, it's about the call that Coach Venable gives us, uh, if the corner is going to trigger, or if we have to see run threat, or if we got to take the pitch, or the quarterback fold inside. It just all folds into the defense and what you have to do for that week. Uh, our preparation, we just prepare well. Uh, we just ready for, like I say, whatever they're going to throw at us that week. Uh, Coach Venable does a lot of digging deep and getting, making sure we have the details to every specific and little thing because that's what matters to him, uh, the little things and the details. Do you feel like maybe you guys are in Georgia Tech's head a little bit because you guys have had such tremendous success against them that maybe you have a little bit of a mental advantage even before kickoff starts? I mean, you probably can say that. But it, it all comes back to us and how we prepare and get ready for each for each team that week. Kevon, is uh, Coach Venables still kind of play quarterback for the scout team when it's a, when it's an option? Oh yeah, he, yeah, he does play quarterback because uh, he wants he it's a specific look that Coach V uh, wants so we can be prepared. So Nobody, he does. Nobody's hit him any time recently, huh? <laughs> no. Christian got him a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Kevon, okay, well, you guys in the second. Uh, we haven't really used them recently, but we do use them more than often. Do you, you think that really helped you last year? Two years ago, that, that, that was kind of a, a chronic problem with the pass interference call. Mm -hmm. Do you think that, that really made a difference? Yeah, I think it does. It just helps us just not grab and hold and just how to just shoot our hands and just disrupt the receiver a little bit to throw out the timing with the quarterback and the, the route they're running. So I think it, it helps us a lot. No problem.